Maggie and I, we met in uh, January 2015 when I went to start my MBA at Mat. I sat at the front. How beauty struck me the first time I saw her? He came to class and he asked me if he could sit next to me. It was just a matter of appreciating. Hmm. After that class, we exchanged numbers and he asked me if I had a discussion group. And we became friends. He kept on telling me to book him a seat and I also kept telling him to book me one. But don't get me wrong, I went there for the MBA, not for Maggie, but I got Maggie as well. Yeah, phone calls went on, messages, yeah, then we began getting closer and closer to each other. That's how Maggie and I met, you know. Settle down with me, cover me up, cuddle me in, lie down with me and hold. Maggie stands out from the rest in that she's a very kind person. Martin is a religious man. She really loves kids. He's full of creativity, he comes up with new ideas all the time. She's also very hardworking. Someone you can confide in. She has a lovely heart. He puts my esteem high. She has a heart of gold. He keeps me smiling. She's kind, and she's selfless, she's very selfless. So all those things basically, they touched my heart and that's when I started to see the real Maggie. Maggie is a very happy person, very honest person. She's considerate. Maggie is loving. She loves everyone in their capacity. She's someone who shows kindness and concern for others. She always keeps you laughing and very happy. So she's really caring. Mega Yagariza. And she's a people person. She has a passion for kids. She really, really loves kids. She takes them out, plays with them. She's literally a kid when she's with them. Maggie is hilarious. She's focused when it comes to something. She loves pets so much. I don't know if she's going to carry Cookie along with her. Her laughter is funnier than the joke itself. She's really God fearing. Maggie always goes to church every Sunday. It's a routine. Martin is an honest yet caring person. Very quiet as far as the things he does and always delivers results. He's the kind of person who really loves people. Honest, intelligent, very focused, fun. He knows where exactly he wants to go. He's a hardworking guy. He's a visionary. Dependable and very loving person. First time I heard Martin talk about Maggie, I used to ask Martin, are you cooking something, are you cooking something? And he would be telling me, yes, I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'll let you know. And uh, how I, I real uh, got to know about it is uh, when Martin uh, confirmed that yes, things are cooking. And uh, when I went on his Facebook profile is when I saw Maggie clearly. And I said, yes, things are real cooking. So when you look at them, I see love. You know, this pure love. I mean, they love each other. They are both incredible people. Uh, they look so joyful. I mean, Maggie is such a joyful person. Martin is such a gregarious person. These are two people who are compatible. Like, they, they complete each other. They are remarkable. They are special. I see a lot of passion. It's an amazing couple. A happy relationship. They have their little inside jokes. Yeah? So then they'll just kind of steal a look and then you see them laughing. I'm very inspired when I look at them. Sort of gravitate towards each other. I mean, when Martin says this, then Maggie's like, oh, yes. I see a lot of uh, fire in them and uh, they really get along very well. It is just Maggie and Martin. Two people who have met each other. If one was uh, a note, the other one was the instrument. It's like a fairy tale come true. Is that they're playing their song together, and that's the love song. I proposed to Maggie actually uh, on the 25th of March, 2017, last last year. She came to visit me in Nigeria. That was in Lagos. I had bought the ring, and I had selected the place where I would propose. 
I told her, you know, on this Saturday morning, we need to wake up early, we need to leave at five. I didn't suspect anything because I was dressed casually and he was casual. Because we are going rock climbing. He didn't tell me where exactly. So she said, okay. So we drove, we drove about 100 kilometers outside Lagos uh, to a place called Abeokuta. Uh, there's a place called the Lumorok. He got out two helmets, one was yellow, the other was blue. He gave me the yellow one and he took the blue one. So we climbed the rock and at the highest point of the rock, um, I basically held her by the hand. Yeah, then he got down on one knee. And I looked into her eyes and I said, Maggie, the real reason we are here is because I want to ask you to be my wife. Wow. <laughs> I was lost of words. And she just expressed this shock and she she shed some tears. I was melting. I was shaking as well. It was an obvious answer. It had to be a yes. But I think we were both happy. What do I envision? Two years, Martin and Maggie. I see Martin and Maggie happy married. Carrying around babies. A whole clan of uh, co-triplets. Martin, salong. <laughs> <laughs> Running around, going to the kindergarten, rushing. And, and well settled. And probably going more into business. And have fun as they are having fun right now. Yes. Yeah, so Maggie and I have grown up uh, together since we're little. We're inseparable twins. People think we are twins. We've been in the same classes. We wear the same clothes. We've been to the same schools. We've done the same course at campus. Whenever we were in school with Maggie, some people used to call me Maggie and then other people call Maggie Yvonne and the vice versa. I was footloose and fancy free. Well, Maggie is Virgin Mary. Then yeah, I would always be in trouble. They could always look for Maggie and report me. And yeah, they used to tell her, you know, blame her, your sister has done this, your sister has done that, and she would like literally have her heart out. It will always jump out. Fondest memories? Yes. Maggie killed a lizard. You know how girls we can be screaming, a lizard, a lizard! And then Maggie comes, and then she, she hits the lizard with the brush, and everyone screams, it is dead! And then all of a sudden, everyone says, Maggie is a hero, Maggie is a hero. And then after some time, she noticed there was someone who wasn't singing. And she's like, you're not singing, I'm going to put this lizard on your bed. And then she carried it close to the person's bed. And then the girl just started screaming, Maggie is a hero. And she just kept on laughing, laughing so hard. Just like any other woman, Maggie has always dreamt of being a bride. I remember she'd call me on the phone and we'd fantasize about how our weddings would be like. Martin one day decided to surprise us on campus with a bicycle for exercise. People ran, but Martin decided that <laughs> the bicycle was the best way to exercise. This guy has an incredible intellect. <laughs> in school, he used to always uh, be number one in class. <laughs> He's just too brilliant. And uh, I remember the first exam we did, I think this is the first term. When he finished his mathematics exam, I think 40 minutes or so earlier, and then the teacher, by then the teacher of mathematics, uh, Mr. Tumwine, decides to mark the scripts. He's, I think he's walking around, invigilating, and then he sees this guy who has finished before time and says, what, what, are, what have you done? You, if you finish before time, bring your script and I mark you. And so the guy starts marking John Martin, thinking that maybe he did, he did Manyanga, only to realize the guy has 89. Maggie and Martin, I congratulate you. You have a nice and happy life with Uncle Martin. You know, wherever you are, I will always love you so, so much. These kids are going to miss you as well. Because we have had a lot of memories together, and I'll miss how you take us to sharks, you take us to the leashes, you take us for swimming, you take us to visit Palm. Maggie, I will miss you so much, but it's time to let you go. I thank God for this day. Just know, we'll always love you. Kisses. May God bless you 
and live happily ever after with Uncle Martin. Mr. and Mrs. Ndaula, put God first in every activity that you do. May you have a happy family. Love each other. Every marriage is unique. Just keep the spark and the love that you have for each other alive. I pray to God to bless you with plenty of children. Congratulations upon this day. This day I have waited for, from the day Maggie told me you were engaged. I was so happy when she told me the news. The vow you've taken, you've taken it with God. So always remember that. He will be the best judge and he will be the best comfort of both of you. He will always want your marriage to work. Because that is the key to a successful marriage. The Lord will grace you and favor you in each and every way. Love Maggie. Be quick to forgive. Every day tell Maggie I love you every morning. Maggie, we have loved you so much. You're such a wonderful character. But now is the time to show Martin, even so much more love than you've shown all of us. We want you to see, to see the best wife we can see. And Martin, we want you to show you, to show Maggie, the best love you can show Maggie. Don't compare your relationship to anyone else's. You will never, ever go wrong. Mbagaliza, Oksumaktubo Kavaita, open heart, open house. Karunji. Marriage. Congratulations. God bless you. And always look to God. Always. Give. Just try to keep the humor in your relationship. I love you so much, Maggie. You mean the world to me. The day has finally come. Maggie, you've been very, very excited and looking forward to Maggie has been packing every day. And she's been packing and packing and packing, and it hurts. But anyway, <laughs> it's what I mean, she's happy and. I'll miss you so much, but I know you'll miss me more than nagging. I wish you the very best of luck in your marriage. I'll miss you so much, Maggie. And by the way, thanks for choosing the best brother-in-law I could ever get. He's a true gentleman. Martin, I would love to share a few tips with you to guarantee a long and a happy marriage. Number one, when you're wrong, admit it. When you're right, just be quiet. The best way to remember your anniversary is to just forget it once. <laughs> A happy life will be a happy wife. It's a happy, a happy life. And by the way, don't be afraid that Maggie will leave you. Trust me, Maggie cannot. She has worked so hard and spent her years training you, so she will not give that up. I love you so much. Namagembe. My love. My love for you has grown stronger and stronger. Thank you for the love, the joy, and the support you've brought into my life. And I hope that it will always be that way. I look forward to sharing this incredible journey with you. Thank you for accepting to be my partner in this thing we call life. I pray to God to help us succeed in this new chapter of life we have started with you. I look forward to sharing many years with you. I hope so much for the future. I look forward to us starting a family. And I pray that our dreams come to a reality. I love you. I love you, Martin. This feels like falling in love.